So here we go. This is Zelenogorsk. And honestly, there's not too many great places in Zelenogorsk. We've got you know, a couple a couple houses we can check out. And we've got the possibility of a vehicle. But other than that, really, there, there's not much not much to Zelenogorsk, though it is the third largest city. And we can see some zombies casually walking out of that home. They were just taking a nap, it's alright. And we got some zombies on my six. Oh, apparently I've agitated some. That's great. So we're gonna use my tried and tested strategy of simply sprinting through a sisty. Sisty, that's a word. City. And make sure we check these small doorways. Sometimes you can get small rounds there. Pistol ammunition, shotgun ammunition, etc., etc., etc. Running, running, running. Keep running. Random frame dips. I know some people have been having frame issues. Frame rate issues, rather. And... Oh my god, that's tough! <laughs> you son of a bitch! Alright, oh, this is serious! No, don't hop! Why are you hopping? Okay, it's fine. Oh, wow, that... Whew. It's alright, it's okay, we're all good. We're all good, dandy, and fine. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, binoculars. Pick those babies up and let's continue looking. Oh, this is exactly what we need. Some food to survive. Hopefully the zombies hold up for like three seconds. Just wait a bit. Just give me a break. I'm robbing a store. It's going to be all right. Frank and beans. What does that even mean? What is a frank? Like, are, are we eating people now? A frank? Does that mean a frankfurter? Frank Frankfurter? Is that... Is it called a Frankfurter? Frankfurter. Frank... It's definitely Frankfurter. Frankfurty? Frankfurter. It has to be Frankfurter. Alright. Continue running. And whenever you have zombies chasing you, hopping over fences is great because it screws up their pathing. So make sure you do that as often as physically possible. I'm going to continue running through, checking some other locations that could have some stuff. We're probably not going to find anything. Other than food, water, the necessities of life. Uh, but the one thing that I will never find is companionship. <laughs> oh, buzz off, man. I just want to live. Another day, and there's nothing there. Come on, give me some stuff. I want some stuff. And we got some pretty graffiti right there. Oh my! Oh, I got I got quite a few on my six. Okay, well, pleasant. Nothing there. Oh, that's a fence. That is a chain link fence. Oh no. It's okay. And we got a long house. Excellent. These places are great to check out. Definitely occasionally have equipment. And we got nothing there. That's fine. Alrighty. So we're going to check this place out. I believe I was actually here before. Run up this hill! Run, forest! How many times have I said that? <laughs> run, forest, run. I'm gonna need a new running phrase. Alright, nothing there. Let's check here. Now, always be wary of these buildings because zombies can and will spawn inside of them. And that is an odd... Apparently the sun is following me. We have a crossbow with a single bolt. Let's take it. All right, now we got a crossbow. Not sure how effective it's going to be against the zombies. I've actually never taken advantage of a crossbow, so it's going to be interesting to see if it's an effective weapon. Probably 
not for the strategy that I'm using. If you're... Oh. Alright, well, we got a shotgun now, so down goes the crossbow. Shotgun with ammo, which is definitely more important. Some cans. We got some more rounds. I don't think I can use any of these, though. Let's grab the bandage in case we bleed out again. Alright, let's let's give this dude a let's let's let him walk for a bit. He seems like he's a little winded. Obviously he hasn't been to the track for a while. Sorta of like me. Except I probably couldn't run half as far as he just did. Anyways. Continue forward. Now that we've checked this place out, there are actually if I, if I recall correctly. And I do recall correctly some of the time. There are spawns for bicycles. Bicyclets, bicycles. So let's let's run around this corner. And let's hope we find a bicycle right here. Bicycles? Any bicycles? Oh please! Oh, that... I... Uh, what am I doing? What am I doing that makes you want to eat me so badly? Like... For jeez. For jeez. Alright. Do a loop-de-loop -loop around him. And you know what? Let's head to the place that I did not manage to explore. Because this is one of the... One of the better places for equipment. This tower right hither. We can find some useful stuff in there. I believe there's also a lookout tower. Maybe not on this side. Maybe it's on the other side. I'm gonna run in here. And these zombies are being annoying. So let's let's pop two bullets. Well, that's that's just simply not gonna do. And hop over the fence before he can hit me! Ball him! Alright. Almost there. Keep pushing it. Keep going, baby! Oh, dude! Dude! These are some fast crawlers. Hop over. Ow! You son of a bitch. No! Well, that was a complete waste of ammo. Did I just kill Under Oath? Was he a zombie? That's what they need to add to this game. The ability to be a zombie. Can you imagine running around, gnawing on people? If you could be sort of like a, a master zombie and control like hordes whenever you see a human you just summon the zombies down on their skulls watch them suffer slowly and caressingly eat their brains as they bleed out on the floor beneath you oh. All right. so as you can see I'm not terribly equipped so far we've been playing for maybe 20 minutes not terribly equipped I have some weaponry, I can defend myself, and I haven't really explored that much, and I haven't put myself at too much of a risk. Now, of course, I got hit by a couple zombies, that's alright, that's gonna happen. But in cities, you are being constantly chased, no matter what you do, and though you may find more areas to actually get equipment, these areas aren't as useful, and they have a lot of bandits going around there, so... You can check out certain places like military bases and stuff like that, but it really is generally easier to go and check out some of these lookout towers and other items like that, because they're just going to have better stuff. Hello everyone, we're back, and it's night time. Double the terror, double the fun, right? Right. 
Now, anyways, a little bit about those graphical glitches. Oh, schnitzel cups. Okay, wait. Before I begin to talk a little bit about those graphical glitches, let's throw this in my bag. And let's equip this. Close. And, whoops, nope, that's the wrong button. Alright. Let's switch that. There we go. Alright. So, the graphical glitches. Now, they always seem to happen with dead soldier bodies. So if you're getting it happening then, uh, you probably should... Changing your graphics displays around doesn't actually fix it too much. You actually have to go through and re-verify the integrity of all your files, and even then, the glitching continues to occur. So, just be aware of that. And it's an unfortunate bug. Hopefully it gets fixed. Of course, the guys on working on Daisy Rocket and his fellow sirs are obviously working hard on getting the new standalone title running. So they haven't really touched Daisy much. So here's to hoping that they actually manage to get a chance to get around to fixing this item as well as a couple other issues that everyone is having. Now, I am completely not visible, which is fantastic. And I'm hoping that no one wants to eat my corpse. We're going to sneak into here, and we're going to head inside the tower. As long as no one follows me in, and see some of the dead bodies on the ground, those are the military bodies. They generally mess things up. We are inside. So, I don't believe zombies can actually spawn here. So we're safe at, on that front. But they can climb up these ladders, can't get through. It just takes them a long time, because once they get restrained to a small area, it becomes harder for them to actually move through the entire place. That's why homes and closed areas, enclosed areas, will always be safer in terms of defendability. So, we found a hatchet. That's always useful. And I believe we actually passed the main area where we can actually get weaponry. There are two entrances, if I recall correctly. So up here is just a scouting position. There isn't really that much that spawns here. And... What you can see is that you do have control of this area from this vantage point. So if you're ever trying to defend an area from an onslaught, this would be a great place to do it. Somehow, though, these military personnel did not do well. We can also go a little bit higher. So let's do that, if I recall correctly. Now, I believe we can open this... Can we open this door? Will you open red door? I guess not. I I honestly believe we could go up higher. Maybe I'm just being ignorant. For now, let's climb down the ladder into the abyss. And some vehicles that can actually spawn here, ATVs and cars. So hopefully we can find something uh, like that and take advantage of it. There's also a military building a little to our side, and this is the part which agitates me most of all. Can't turn. There we go. Alright. So let's casually sneak out of here. And head over here. Now, I can't recall. Is it behind or in front? I don't believe these doors will open. We can try them. Someone is not looking forward to meeting me. Uh, gently go to here. Now, I can't recall. Is it the rooftop? Is it inside? Let's just explore. Well, that's, that's just not delightful to look at at all. So, there is... Whatever that is. Gear. 
What did I find? Oh, okay. Apparently I found some stuff, even though I can't see a single thing. Take some magazines. Now am I just blind, or are they... Is there actually stuff there? Uh... Okay, do Take some pellets, because why the heck not? Some soda can, water bottle is always tremendously useful. Makarov mag. We've equipped up now. Now this is interesting. I'm not actually seeing anything. Huh. Very interesting. Alright. So now we've basically exhausted the supplies in here. Unless I can remember how to get to the useful area. If there is even a useful area, maybe my memory is failing me. It does that quite often when I try to recall things. Let's forward. Peek around here. No one's there. The only other place there could be an entrance is right here. I don't believe there is one. Alright, so clearly I'm just a fool. Big surprise there. And it doesn't look like we have any vehicle inside. I believe a vehicle, a car can spawn actually in here, but it doesn't seem to be in here, so I'm just going to sneak out of here. And continue heading north. Let's see, actually, there's an ATV out here somewhere. Fella just going for a nightly stroll. Let's see if we can find this ATV. Don't see you, ATV. And I don't believe there is one at our location. Well, that's sort of disappointing. So let's run off into the night with our flashlight ablazing and the nightlife amazing. Yes, that was a horrible joke. Deal with it. I don't care. I don't even care anymore, okay? You know me by now. You know that I don't tell good jokes. I'm not funny! I'm not funny. <sighs> Run into an open field. Now, I think we are about to head towards Pojagorova, which is the obvious pronunciation of this place. Pogora Pogorovaguka. And when we enter to Pogorovaguka, we are going to search the area. But again, these places don't tend to have very useful weaponry. So just be aware of that. These small towns, you can find some decent farmhouses and stuff like that, but they're not that useful. And after I search this area, I think we're going to head to Starry Sobor. And the great thing about Starry Silbor is there is a gigantic military base there. So we can actually gather some heavy equipment and be useful rather than not being useful. So I'm going to end it right there for now, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope this wasn't absolutely pathetic to your eyes. But let's be honest, it, it probably was both to your eyes and ears. So let me just apologize to those senses right now. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. I will continue this journey north, and we will see how far we can get before I accidentally kill myself. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.